vital is a legacy. How and when should one start to build up to one? The encomiums and prayer flowed free and strong. From hearts that had been touched, impacted, and in some cases changed, the beauty of the Sanford was not in the numbers who turned up alone. It also revibrated in their aura. It is all about a fully digital director who has transversed the broadcast landscape and his footprint are a testament of his vibrant and energetic impact. He has been my, my personal mentor, but, but I never thought the way I see him, the way I look up to him like a long room model, the, the way I learn from him every day is the uh, same thing with other people around him. I feel honored, I feel honored to have him, have him, have him, have me call him a father. I feel excited and emotional. Um, the reason why I feel excited is because now we'll be seeing him like daily, always at home. And when we call him, he won't be telling us, I'm in a meeting, I'll call you back, messages and and I feel emotional. I'm very happy for him, first of all, because we get the chance to also welcome him back home because we have not really actually had the time to really be with our father. I don't know if you understand, because he's always on his assignments in the office, he come back late in the night. So I'm happy, and I'm also happy to be one of his mentees because I'm also following his footsteps. But I didn't know that as long as you're concerned, you know, It was amidst so much joy and mixed feelings that Lawal Ahmed retires as director of programs after meritoriously impacting many at Nigerian Television Authority and the larger broadcast industry for many years. The NTA headquarters at Jagal opened its doors, embraced and welcomed many loved ones, amongst whom were serving and retired Director General of Nigerian Television Authority, as well as family, friends, and many others. He's surely going to do much more than he had done in the past. My advice to him is to take some time off, give some time to the family, time that he didn't give them. I did the same thing. So take some time off, spend more time with your family, and then go and do what you want to do. I know there are many things that no one wants to do. I have found an individual who is very, very ready to work, very resilient and uh, very committed to the job. And above all, despite his age, <laughs> the DP is still up to date in terms of technology. And that is why people refer to him as a digital director program. There was so much to say about the man, Lawal Ahmed. It can only be described as heartwarming and beautiful. From musical performance and testimonies, all concur that Ogalawal, as he is fondly called, has undeniably carved a niche for himself. Lawal is somebody you can describe him as a highly professional, dedicated to duty, loyalty to the organization, and above all, he's always ready to pass his knowledge to his subordinate. He has that spirit of persuasion. He persuades you. He makes you feel that this task that he's giving you is simple. One of those who has not only embraced uh, technology, but he has adapted technology to suit whatever task he has to execute.
Thank you so much. Congratulations, our digital DP. Thank you so much. I'm happy for him because I know that as some that started work with him, today they are no more. They were not able to reach this level of retirement. An attachment to the thing you are doing every day. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a function of the interest, the amount of interest you have in what you do every day. I have this burning desire to want to excel in whatever I'm doing. Lawal Ahmed is a broadcaster with vast experience in television production. He is an astute producer and production expert. Up until his retirement, he was the director of programs and he will be missed.